Now get this, only 15% of adult Kenyans have a formal pension scheme, leaving majority without a financial safeguard upon retirement. This is one of the revelations contained in the Capital Markets Authority's soundness report for the second quarter of 2019. It says that many Kenyans are yet to take advantage of the opportunities in the capital markets. It is a clear indication of the tough financial situation that Kenyans find themselves in, which makes them view any form of saving and investment as a luxury. This report covering the period between April and June 2019, the Capital Markets Authority sets forth data showing that foreign investors are trooping into the local market. The period under review recorded net inflows of 2.3 billion shillings, a 283% surge from the first quarter's inflows valued at 600 million shillings. Cumulatively, the first half of 2019 saw 2.9 billion shillings worth of net inflows compared to 13.4 billion shillings in net outflows witnessed in the second half of 2018, which are comprised of 6.7 billion shillings in the third quarter and a similar amount in the fourth quarter. CMA cites the budget policy proposal to exempt foreign investors from personal identification number requirements as one of the factors driving foreign investor appetite. The report by CMA further shows that activity at the Nairobi Securities Exchange is still dominated by foreign investors who accounted for 69.6% of the total turnover in the period between April and June 2019. This shows the concentration risk, which is the skew of market activity towards any particular party, is high at the market, which means massive exits by foreign investors, as seen in the second half of 2018, could subject investors to adverse effects. And still on the subject of concentration risk at the exchange, the proportion of the market's capitalization accounted for by the top five stocks has risen from 67.6% in the first quarter of 2019 to 70.8% at the end of the second quarter. It stood at 68.1% in the third quarter of 2018 before dipping to 65.8% at the end of last year. The breach of the 70% mark is a testament to the degree to which the market is dominated by the shares of Safaricom, Equity Bank, East African Breweries, KCB Group and the Cooperative Bank. The soundness report of the second quarter of 2019 comes at a time when the NSE's 20-share index has fallen below the 2,600 mark for the first time since March 13, 2009. This points to how depressed the market currently is with investor wealth taking a beating and bringing to question the overall health of the economy.